everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 3 of Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. So this entire episode was pretty much dedicated to fighting and mechs, but it wasn't bad at all. It was very enjoyable seeing, you know, Kurtz and Mao and people died, sure. That one guy who tried to be whatever and Tessa tried to shoot him and stuff, that guy, he's dead. Rip. Speck. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was just like, when you start fighting that one behemoth, I was just like, you're gonna die, aren't you? And then it started crushing him, and then I'm like, yep, you're dead. And that's just a way to go, man, getting crushed to death. And that other guy, Lieutenant, whoever the heck, or Captain Lieutenant, I don't know what he was, but, uh, he, like, got crushed a little bit, and then, like, the thing threw him in the air, and then, like, shot him, and then I'm just like, that's the way to go, too. That really sucks. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, the whole episode is pretty much dedicated to, um, you know, mech fights, and it's fine, that's fine, that's enjoyable. Um, it felt a little draggy and slow at times, but eh, it's fine, because I feel they shouldn't have spent the entire episode on that, maybe, you know, started the whole Sosuke and Chidori thing, having to go save their friend and all their other friends, because there's a bunch of bombs at the school, apparently. Um, so there's that, but, um, yeah, the thing is, is that, like, I don't know, the CGI mechs, this is what I want to focus on mostly, is that they look really nice, like, like, they're CGI, that's blatantly obvious when you look at them, but they're so smooth, like, their movements are very smooth, you know, when they're shooting their guns, when they're running, there were a few times it looked maybe a tad janky, but it's, like, it's very non-noticeable if you're not really paying hard attention, but if you are paying attention enough, you know, you look at this very smooth mech, you know, running, you know, shooting a gun, whatever, moving through the water, it looked really nice. And sometimes I almost thought it wasn't CGI, but I was like, wait, nope, this is CGI, these are CGI mechs, but they blend really nicely into the backgrounds and everything, so they really work really well. <laughs> I'm just like, these CGI mechs are, they pretty much, they must have put a lot of money into those. And if they didn't, I will be very surprised, because the outcome is very nice looking, and, like, I'm very surprised, <laughs> um, because usually when CGI, it looks, like, in CGI and anime, it looks so off-putting, and you're like, oh, I can't look at this, my eyes hurt, why are you doing this, but with this, my eyes don't hurt, they blend into the backgrounds, they're very smooth, they look really nice when they move, they don't look very janky at all, there's maybe one or two moments I could think that there was, like, two mechs that looked kind of eh, but other than that, they looked really nice, and I very much enjoyed just watching it, but at, again, at the same time, the whole episode pretty much dedicated to mech fights felt a little slow, I was like, eh, because it wasn't a lot of fighting, you know, it was just kind of slow fighting, you know, just a few shots here, a few shots there, boom, 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 you know, but Tessa, she has now her plan, she's going to, they, basically the people are now on the ground who are coming to get them and kill them, I guess, so they have 30 minutes to escape, the submarine ain't ready, and they're and if they do go in the summary now they'll have like two weeks and then they'll probably die in the water. So it's like that's <laughs> fun. Um Yeah, that's not fun at all. But um with Chidori and Sosuke though, they are escaping, but then they stop and they're like, Okay, so what do we do? And Sosuke's like, Well, look, I love you, you love me, we're scared, this is not good, but hey, we're gonna go save our friends because that's what we're gonna do, because we're the protagonist, and I'm like, Cool! Let's do it! Um, and then the episode ends, I'm like, right, we spent half the episode doing mech fights. Great. <laughs> like, we could have at least started that, you know? It's like, I don't have a problem with it, but it's just like, spending an entire almost episode on just that alone made it feel a little slow, and not, it's, eh, it's fine, but at the same time, it's not fine, but, you know, whatever. Um, but I did enjoy the episode for the most part, and it was very nice to look at the CGI mechs, and I'm ready for more CGI mechs, you know, I'm fine with it, it's fine, like, like, I don't think they ever had CGI mechs in the previous seasons, but it's been a while, I think they were all just, you know, look like the normal animation style, there could have been a few, but I don't really remember there being many CGI mechs, if at all, in the previous seasons, um, I... I can't really recall any time that there was one, but they work. They work really nicely. I'm glad they actually, you know, made the CGI mix because they look really good. And this is, you know, I think other animators should look at this show and be like, look, this is how you do CGI. I don't know if it's just they're really good at it or they poured money into it, but if you pour money into it, it looks really great. 
And if it's not money being poured into it, it still looks really great. So they're doing a dang good job with this. And I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with it. So what did you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I view next. Bye!